Today I'd like to give you guys an update on Student Writing Intensive by IEW. This is their Structure and Style program and if you guys are interested in this they actually have a brand new updated version of this program on their website if you're interested in something updated. So we have been doing this program all school year for 2019-2020 um, and we only have five weeks left of school so we've been doing it um, all school year so far and I do have two videos already on the program but they were both done at the beginning of the year so we're much farther into the program now so I wanted to give you guys an update. In my last video we had made it up through lesson three and now we are in lesson nine. So I can give you an idea of what's in the other lessons if you're interested in that. So let's get to lesson four where we had left off in the last update that I had given you way at the beginning of the school year. So the student is going to continue um, rewriting paragraphs using a keyword outline. So they get to choose three words out of every sentence for the whole paragraph, then take this away and rewrite the paragraph without looking at this in their own words. And this is the checklist that they have to do and make sure all of these things are in their paragraph. So they have to have an LY adverb, a who or which, a strong verb, and the word because, and then these words are banned. So the student continues on reinforcing the concepts already learned, and lesson five just continues to reinforce the concepts. There's nothing new here. So in lesson six, we have three new banned words see or saw, good and bad. These are all banned from here on out in the program and also the student is supposed to add a quality adjective somewhere in their paragraph and also an adverbial clause which is when, while, where, as, since, if, or, although. So they have to add one of these words somewhere in the paragraph. So that's the new thing the new things for lesson six. So then there's some more paragraphs to do. Well, there's, yes, there's several more paragraphs to do. And then starting in lesson seven, we have something different. We have um, the story sequence chart. So starting from here, the assignments are three paragraph long assignments. Everything up until this point has been a single paragraph. Starting here, they are three paragraphs long and they focus more on a story, how it should flow. So here is the, um, the story that is used for the example in the, in the video. And what the student is going to do is make this into three separate paragraphs and add more to it. So this story sequence chart is what the student will be using from here on out at least in the lessons we have been doing all the way up through lesson nine. So the first paragraph needs to discuss these things. Who is in the story? When does it happen? Where do they live or go? And then the second paragraph, it talks about the problem, what they're thinking, saying, and doing. And in the third paragraph, it talks about the climax. Um, how is the problem resolved? And if there is any message or moral or anything learned. So, and another new thing is that from here on out, there is something interesting that um, the student now has to create titles for their stories, and the title has to repeat some keywords from the final sentence. So that is something that they teach in on the DVDs. So this just continues on writing three paragraph stories. So this is, um, the student has to take this information, expand it, make it three paragraphs using the story sequence chart. And the student also needs to have all of their dress ups. So their LY adverb, their who, which, their strong verb, their because, their quality adjective, and one of these words for every single paragraph, paragraph one, two, and three, and check for the band words. And if you're using um, Word, like Microsoft Word, you can easily just do a search for these. So you can easily see if you've used one of the banned words. So my daughter was really happy when we got to this part of the book because um, 
the student is allowed to kind of alter this what they've given here if they would like to. So they can take this story if they want to and rewrite it or they can do a similar story and make up their own characters and make up their own situations and um, write their own story and that's what my daughter has done for the most part for the for these lessons here. She really is creative and she did end up doing um, the basic line in the shepherd story here but she completely added characters, changed things around, and made it her own. So she's been really enjoying um, more wiggle room with these assignments. So again, three paragraph story. And we are currently in lesson nine. Again, to make this into a three paragraph story. And the checklist is very similar to the one that I just, just showed you. So starting in lesson 10, I believe that we're going to be learning about doing reports pretty soon. I don't know if it's in lesson 10 or lesson 11. Looks like it might be here in lesson 11. So we'll get to learn about writing reports. So that is what is going on with this. Um, we are enjoying this. We really enjoy the DVDs and my daughter enjoys especially writing her rough drafts because she likes to be really creative and um, she has especially enjoyed doing the three paragraph stories. So that is how it's been going. And we're just going to keep doing this at a slow pace until the end of the school year. And then um, we're just going to stop wherever we stop at the end of the school year and just continue on next year using this program. So that's what's going on with this. And if you guys have any questions about this program, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.